Arizona, which lies in the American Southwest, is home to a number of natural wonders. Busy city and charming little towns, while Phoenix and Sedona are wonderful vacation destinations, travelers can also venture outside of the city to see Native American cliff dwellings, ancient cultural relics, and former mining ghost towns. Tourists from all over the world visit the Grand Canyon, but those who venture further out will find amazing vistas and uncommon places to visit. Arizona's landscape is also perfect for outdoor pursuits. Due to the state's deserts, visitors have a variety of possibilities. To learn about the greatest attractions in Arizona, including lakes, mountains, slot canyons, saguaro cacti, butts, waterfalls, and even a volcano with downhill skiing, watch this whole movie before you leave for your trip. Number 1. Grand Canyon Grand is an inadequate description of this canyon, which is up to 18 miles wide and a mile deep and is approximately 277 river miles long. The Grand Canyon has been growing for 6 million years with the help of the powerful Colorado River, and for centuries, people from all over the world have come to see its magnificent red and orange splendor. The Grand Canyon is managed by the nation. Backcountry campsites and challenging hikes are possible here. The canyon can be seen on a helicopter trip for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Number 2. Sedona Sedona is frequently referred to as one of the most picturesque places in America. You won't find a landscape anywhere else that is as vividly colored for years. Both seasoned artists and aspiring newcomers have been drawn to the area's towering red cliffs and angular sandstone but set against an almost perpetually blue sky. Additionally, these blazing rock formations in north-central Arizona served as the backdrop for blockbuster movies like 310 to Yuma Bro. Still searching for a way to quench your thirst, plan a spa day for the day in Sedona. A bottle of local wine and a traditional treatment like a red clay wrap or blue corn body scrub are excellent ways to unwind after a strenuous day of hiking. Oh, and did we also mention that there are more than a few new age vortexes that are said to have spirit balancing properties that can be found there. Number 3. Monument Valley Actually, Monument Valley is located on the border of Arizona and Utah. If you want to travel there quickly, you need base yourself in a northern city like Flagstaff. The valley is one of the most well-known U.S. landscapes and certainly one of the top tourist destinations in Arizona. The valley is home to over 90,000 acres of hiking trails and incredible rock formations. Its towering sandstone butts are the feature for which it is most famous. Don't miss Forrest Gump Point, the iconic vantage point featured in well-known movies and a significant filming location. If you're thinking about taking a road trip through Arizona, the valley is an excellent area to pass through. Number 4. The Hoover Dam Even though it no longer holds the distinction of being the highest dam in the world, the Hoover Dam nonetheless invokes memories of its heyday as one of Arizona's most popular tourist attractions. Visitors can either visit the Hoover Dam Visitor Center to schedule a guided tour or observe the Hoover Dam from a distance. The majority of tours include entrance to the Hoover Dam tunnels, a trip up an elevator, and exclusive access to all of the building's operational rooms. The dam is said to be so strong that it could withstand the force of Niagara Falls, which gives you a great idea of just how strong it is. Given that the dam is situated on the Nevada-Arizona border and is often combined with a trip to Las Vegas, it's a great spot to visit if you're interested in architecture or simply want to see a National Historic Site up close. Number 5. Bisbee Situated in the extreme southeast of Arizona, close to the Mexican border, Bisbee is one of the state's most fascinating towns and may be one of its best-kept secrets. A former mining town, it is a unique small town perched high in the mountains. After the local mines closed, Bisbee was left as a ghost town where squatters settled. The community eventually developed into a sanctuary for hippies and artists. Today, 
It is a thriving small town amazing views of the Mexican mountains can be seen from the higher streets and mansions on the hillsides. There are many unofficial hiking paths on the hills above the town. The hills surrounding the old downtown area are lined with homes, many of which are former miners' huts. Many of these homes are only accessible from the town center below by steep flights of stairs. Bisbee is a popular day trip destination from Tucson and the surrounding. Number 6. Horseshoe Bend Arizona cannot be reached without traveling to the Colorado River. Although you are free to visit any of the river's different sections, we strongly suggest visiting Horseshoe Bend. As one of the most popular tourist attractions in Arizona, Horseshoe Bend on the Colorado River is famed for its classic postcard perfect image. The curve is shaped like a horseshoe as you might have thought, and there is a wonderful vantage point from where you can take in the amazing surroundings. Given that the climb is only 1.3 miles round trip, make sure to carry a camera if you have one. Although it is not difficult to get to the viewpoint, it is best to visit Horseshoe Bend early in the day or late in the day because there is little shade there and Arizona can get very hot in the summer. Number 7. Antelope Canyon as you go into Antelope Canyon, a slot canyon that is depicted in innumerable photographs and displayed in galleries all across Arizona, light shafts emerge from the little opening above and sparkle through the sculpted, curving sandstone walls that climb up around you. As you move deeper into the slot canyon, light shafts emerge from the narrow opening above and shine through the sculpted, winding sandstone walls that rise up around you. On a guided tour, you can visit Upper Antelope Canyon, Lower Antelope Canyon, or both. For those with mobility issues or those who prefer level ground and sure footing, Upper Antelope Canyon is the better option. Number 8. Petrified Forest National Park You'll be astonished to learn that the Petrified Forest National Park is a lonely location with petrified split tree stumps and a richness of fossils if you visit hoping to see a lush forest full of fascinating, beautiful trees. Do you ever wonder how a natural occurrence takes place when trees are buried underground for a long period of time without oxygen petrification occurs the rotting wood eventually mineralizes and transforms into petrified wood the petrified wood is dispersed throughout the national park which you can travel the entire length of in about an hour stopping wherever you like among the must-see attractions are the rainbow forest museum the hikes through crystal forest and blue mesa do you ever Wonder how a natural occurrence takes place when trees are stone creating an exact replica of the original shape in a different material we recommend Petrified Forest National Park to everyone interested in natural mysteries who wants to have an amazing experience in Arizona as one of the greatest places to visit in Arizona for a different nature encounter. Number 9. Jerome The old mining settlement of Jerome has been turned into a popular tourist attraction. It is perched on a mountainside above the desert, and its main street is lined with distinctive stores and restaurants. From the streets and some businesses, breathtaking views may be observed. Jerome State Historic Park and the Gold King Mine Museum are excellent places to learn about the town's past. Popular day trips to this town can be taken from Sedona Prescott Phoenix or Flagstaff. Those who want to spend the night can find accommodations. While most of the historic buildings have been renovated, some are still in ruins. Jerome is, to put it bluntly, unconventional, while some people may just call it quirky. The Bartlett Hotel, once one of Jerome's most sumptuous hotels, is now in ruins. Jerome's sliding jail was erected sometime around 1928. Built on a clay slick, it immediately started to slip. It is now two 500 feet from where it was formerly one of Jerome's most opulent hotels. Number 10. Lake Havasu Lake Havasu, which was created when the Colorado River was dammed, is one of Arizona's cutest small cities and a welcome respite in the otherwise barren and dusty desert. It's a terrific place to enjoy the water right now on the beach in a pleasure boat or on a patio by the water. There are two unique characteristics to the lake that surrounds Metropolis. Local Arizonans who wish to avoid the heat in the spring and summer dwell there while snowbirds who are avoiding the cold in the northern states of Canada make it home during the winter. 
Any trip to Lake Havasu should involve a stroll across London Bridge, which was built in 1831 but was moved to its current location in 1971 using materials taken from London, England. An amusing fact about the bridge is that it was actually put back together on dry land in the middle of a field. A canal wasn't dug out beneath it until much later. Alright everyone this is it for now. Thanks for watching and see you with the next travel video.